Ceramics, Form Meets Function, a Curriculum Unit Plan by Sarah Collado. My name is Sarah Collado. This is my fifth class in the Master of Art Education program at the University of Florida. I received my Bachelor of Fine Arts in Painting, Drawing, and Printmaking from University of North Florida in 2014. I currently teach 3D Studio Art at Mandarin Middle School in Jacksonville. I love traveling and visiting art museums, and my favorite place to travel is Italy. I have two small dogs, Scout and Boo, named after characters from To Kill a Mockingbird. The curriculum unit plan I developed is titled Ceramics, Form Meets Function. This unit is intended for middle school, grades 6 through 8. The duration of this unit is 6 weeks. Lesson 1. Introduction to Ceramic Techniques and Concepts. This lesson introduces vocabulary, concepts, and techniques related to ceramics. The three main techniques explored are pinch, slab, and coil, with an introduction to a theoretical knowledge of wheel feeling. Students will learn the five stages of clay, as well as the techniques most suitable for use within each stage. For example, carving is best during the leather hard stage. It is important to note that some standards may include slip as a stage of clay, but the district assessment for my county does not. So I just teach the five stages as plastic, leather hard, bone dry, bisqueware, and glazeware. Students will utilize the teacher-made learning resources seen here to reinforce content mastery. This lesson includes a summative assessment, a ceramics quiz, that students will complete before transitioning to hands-on clay projects. In my experience, providing an assessment at this point clarifies any misconceptions before materials are being consumed. This is important when teaching in public school with budget restrictions related to materials. This lesson also includes a formative review and reward assessment during day one. Students will watch a, a ceramics video and are asked to jot down questions. After the video, students can volunteer to ask their questions to their peers. Volunteer questioners and those who participate are rewarded with a small piece of candy. Lesson two, personality pinch pots. Our first hands-on clay project, this lesson will require students to begin to understand the sensitive nature of the medium while also adding personal meaning to the creation of symbols to decorate the objects. Students will be introduced to the concepts related to form and function, as well as look at images of ceramic objects from different cultures and civilizations and question why and how these objects might have been used and made. Students will also be able to visibly observe their small pinch pots as they transition from one stage of clay to the next. Students will participate in a formative assessment, I like to call notes to self, where they are given a post-it note during cleanup, and they jot down one thing they need to fix the next workday and one thing they intend to do. Lesson three, slab and drape, reinventing and duplicating forms. This lesson challenges students to think about how the function of objects can be altered through the medium of clay. Students will learn how to use and prepare an object as a mold, how to roll out slabs of clay manually without a slab roller, and how to strategically plan, create, and transfer designs to clay. This lesson will also introduce students to art criticism by including a peer, to peer critique as a formative assessment on day two of the project making, where students will be rotated to a different table to leave constructive feedback on someone else's work that can be used before the object is completed. To close, the students will complete a peer critique and be guided through the more formal steps of art criticism using the teacher-made handout seen here. Lesson four, creating themed coil objects, form, function, or both. For this lesson, students will be introduced to ceramic objects that lack function and be given autonomy to create a coiled object that is functional or not. Students will continue to work on planning, revising, and adjusting throughout the making process through notes to self formative assessments, as well as gallery walk peer critiques. Students will be encouraged to add text, symbols, or other communicative decoration that adds meaning to the object, creates a narrative, or displays a sense of personal voice or style. Students will close this lesson by creating an artist statement to accompany their object. The original art I created for this unit, beyond just creating teacher-made examples for each of the projects, was a ceramic art zine. 
I made these little booklets for all of my face-to-face -face students, as well as creating a digital booklet for my online students. You can view the digital version of the booklet in the link posted in the comments. The book provides students with a pocket guide resource throughout all of the lessons in this unit. And although it isn't a traditional artwork, I feel the creation of this particular zine is crucial to the skills I hope my students will master. Some of the artists that I will include in the presentations are Lynn Hovaika, who makes beautifully sculptural functional objects, Charlotte Mary, who combines form and function with her species series of lidded jars, Ricky Barnett adds carved detailed images to functional and non-functional objects, Brett Kern creates illusionistic ceramic objects that look like balloon animals. Tim Kolasik explores an illusionistic trompe l'oeil approach to his ceramic objects by creating utilitarian forms that mimic discarded materials, such as cardboard or tin cans, like this set of tin can mugs seen here on a ceramic tray that looks like cardboard. Lei Xu implies function in her non-functional porcelain cans with painted images from the Ming Dynasty. Christopher David White creates purely sculptural objects that mimic and recreate natural textures. And Livia Martin obliterates function in her surrealistic melting cups. My hopes for this unit are to inspire my students to explore the medium of clay beyond what they think is possible. I would like for my students to learn with me as I increase my acumen regarding the medium and its potential. I think this unit will ideally position my students to go on a journey with me that is mutually engaging, educational, exciting, and beneficial, while simultaneously being creative and technically challenging.